Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with Mikey. Uh, we're actually in Kansas today in a pretty good sized salvage yard and we are gonna be showing you guys some of our finds. Right now we're in truck row, but uh, it's a beautiful Saturday morning here. It's like 60 degrees, hardly any wind and uh, a lot of cool stuff. First thing we thought was really cool was this Dually C50 with a big six cylinder. The workhorses of America back in the day, all powered by a high thrift six. This is kind of a big truck row. We'll walk over to the cars here in a second. It's a lot of neat history here. If these trucks could talk, where they've been, what they've done when they operated, be a cool story to tell. So we're kind of here at the cars now. We have a early Lincoln, not the suicide door model year, but sitting next to a Chevy Apache. I love these trucks. I wish this was in better shape. I'd bring this one home. We have a 68, I believe. Caprice four-door hardtop with bumper guards and marker lights. An old four-door Nova or Chevy 2. Here's one you don't see every day. A 71 through 4 Plymouth. Bench seat still in the car. Give it a Impala Custom right here. It's a nineteen sixty six four door Impala. I thought this was a good looking car, but no motor in this one. And it's sitting next to a beautiful 58 Chevy Biscayne. A little nicer than the one I've got. Sport Fury. Here's an early 50s Pontiac, nice four door. This one's really kick ass. It's a, I wanna say 50, oh, it's a 55 through seven. I just don't know what year exactly. Pontiac. It's been hitting, hit hard in the passenger side here, but Still a good parts donor. Nice color to it. Got a newer Ford Cobra sitting right there. About a foot of Bondo on it. Nice little shoe box. I believe that's a Ford, Ford Custom. Mustangs, Impalas, Caprices. A little bit of everything here. And what year is this Bel Air? 1954. And I think the most popular color was green and white. I've seen more green and white early 50s than ever before. 55 Chevy. Really not too bad of a car, pretty solid. It's missing everything, but so cool to see. 
Now here's an odd one. This is a Buick Electra 1960. It's a four-door sedan with no power options. It does have AC. The AC is gone, of course, but no power windows, electronic eye, no power seat. Pretty odd, really, for a loaded Electra to not be loaded at all. Nice little four-door Nova. It's got a six-cylinder in it. The motor's apart. I actually thought about bringing this one home until I saw the motor. Late 60s Buick LeSabre. Sitting next to a Caprice, Chevy Caprice. Cougar, Mustang. I believe that's a Plymouth back there. Here's a 65 Chev. I want to say like a 75, six Le Mans, Pontiac Le Mans. A couple nice patina trucks. But the most unique one so far is this Plymouth Suburban Wagon. Really cool, it's all stripped out. We'll take a look at it here. I believe it was a six passenger. I do not see room for a bumper step. It's got the new power flight push button transmission. Really neat old car. Suburban. There's a trunk lid to that 65. Pair of 66 two-door hardtop Impalas. Here is a Plymouth with the inline six. Big Ford wagon, 3022 valve, and then a beat up old 59. All right, we'll keep walking. Another cool one in the junkyard, Coke bottle challenge, or a Coke bottle charger. Fifty-seven Buick Special. This three-piece glass was a one year only thing with Oldsmobile and Buick. No power options. Four door Grand Torino. Got a friend of my town who loves these cars. Probably good parts donor for him. Pontiac Catalina, 63 or four. Sitting next to a really rough 1960. She's seen better days. The hood on that car is pretty nice. Same with this one, a 61 Bel Air. It's got a beautiful patina hood to it. Might have to bring that home with us. I believe that's a 70 Impala Custom right there. We have a 65 Bel Air. Ranch wagon, uh, some kind of Ford convertible, I believe. Yet another Charger.
I believe that's a big thin Plymouth. Yep. 59 maybe. Pretty stripped, but those big fins are, are cool for a wall hanger or, or on a custom. Another four door Nova. Hey Mikey, let's go up this way. 1958 two door sedan. No fixing that one. Crew cab, square body, Silverado. God, that's badass. Love it. We have some kind of convertible. Oh no, just kidding. The roof's been cut off. It's a custom. Now that 58 has been here a while. <laughs> There's no way that one's uh, coming out in one piece. Another four door Grand Torino. El Camino Conquista. Now we're kind of getting into the newer stuff up here, so we'll keep walking and... Oh God, Mikey has a Ford Festiva and there's another one. Oh boy. <laughs> we're taking this one back to Iowa. Take three of those home on one trailer. God almighty, a Chevy Monza in a junkyard. Really is in too bad a shape, honestly. You take this one home, build a nice race car. Sit next to one of these abominations. What they want to call a Ford Mustang, if you can even call it that. The downfall of American Motors right there. Back in the 70s and 80s. Compact, small. The world was changing. Got a Pontiac uh, Cutlass right here with its beak looking front grille and a hatchback Nova. Rough around the edges, but well, rough everywhere. Fold down seat, front seat still there, but the column and the dash are, are completely out of it. What's this, Mikey Regal? G body. Good race car. Sit next to that, I believe this is a 67. Still pretty solid, really. Let's see what year it is. Yep, 67. Two door hardtop. We have a couple Oldsmobiles over here. First one is a uh, old Cutlass, and it's sad it's here in the junkyard. It wants to be free, but I don't know. I'm sure this one could be fixed if you really want to get ambitious with it. But the claw, the floors, you know, the claw has done its work on the roof. Glorified parts car. Next to that, over here, we have, a, I believe it's a 64 Olds. And this one has a little nicer roof, a little nicer floor pans. Aftermarket AC, but it's just a shell. So if you need a shell, there'd be a nice one right there for you. Here we have a 1961 
or 62. Buick Invicta. Invicta Custom. Now that right there is a rare car. Power seat, power windows, air conditioning. However, motor is there, but it's stuck. And this car has really not been treated the best. I can't get these, can't get these doors open, but there's not a lot left there, but hell of a rare one for sure. The Invicta Custom was, I believe it was the top, the top dog for the Buick line. If somebody knows for sure, they'll let me know in the comments. A lot of Buicks around here, but that one's a gem for sure. In a row of big Cadillacs and Bonnevilles, we have a four-door 1958 Biscayne. This one's got the factory floor delete. But again, it's got a really nice hood. We're seeing a lot of that here in Kansas. And I'm about twisting my ankle. Look at that hood, that's beautiful for a six year old piece of iron. That door's not so beautiful, but I don't know, this hood might have to come back with us. Base model uh, 75 to 81 Firebird. I wish I knew the years on these better than the Camaros, but she has seen a hard life. Got some old stuff down there, Let's check it out. What is this, a duster? I don't know really. Old uh, 52 or three Chevrolet, I believe. I think the grilled teeth are 52. Let me know if I'm wrong. We have another one of those odd sunk cars. That one's been here an awfully long time. And a sea of newer stuff. All right, well that kind of concludes the junkyard crawl today, as Steve Vagnante would say. We're uh, walking back up the front now. Not a whole lot of stuff here in terms of Impala stuff for me, but just old stuff in general. I mean, there is some stuff, but for the size of the yard, it's mainly uh, mainly newer stuff. So not a big deal. This is our first stop of the day. We're going to keep on walking. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like rating. Actually, before we leave, let's check out this GMC pickup over here. We eyed it on the way in, and we can't leave it behind. Well, maybe we can leave it behind. <laughs> Not a whole lot left to it there. We have some Blazers and Ford trucks and Chevy trucks and all that other good stuff, but nothing that I know a whole lot about except this truck right here. This is a factory convertible, it's super rare. Yeah. But that's all she wrote. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like rating. Comment your favorite truck or car of the bunch here. And if you're brand new subscribers, we're gonna have more junkyard videos coming here shortly. Thanks guys for watching. This is Mikey. I'm Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and we will catch you next time.